Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. We are officially on day four of my new island of driftwood. And the first thing we gotta do is check out the mail. We got something from Gulliver, as well as a bunch of things from Nook Shopping, because I ordered a couple of things from there. And then it appears we also have something from Daisy, May, and Luna. So I'm assuming the thing from Luna is her bed. Which is really good because right now I'm sleeping on a cot, so we could definitely use that bed. So let's go inside and put some of these things away. So welcome back to day four on Driftwood. If you guys didn't know, I got a second Nintendo Switch. And we're, uh, we have a second island. So if you guys haven't seen the previous videos for this new island, I will be leaving them in the description for you guys to check out. There's a playlist of the few videos I've done so far. And it appears we got a nutcracker from Gulliver, which is pretty cool. So let's just move some of the things around, put the new bed that we got from Luna down because it's definitely a step up from that cot. And <laughs> clearly we need to do more decorating because there's not a lot going on in this room so far, but that's for a different day when we get more items. I also grabbed the um, carp banner from Nook Shopping, which is probably one of my favorite items in the new update. And I'm really happy. I also got the newspaper hat. I think we're probably going to be wearing that in this video. Um, it's so cute. Okay. Uh, let me put these things away and we can go put the music I bought from Nook Shopping in the record player or the um, cassette player, I think it is, on my beach. Because we got to start building up that music catalog. So we have pondering. Looking good. And I wanted to put the carp banner on the beach. I don't know how much room we need. More room than that, apparently. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how big this is in game. Ooh, pretty big, apparently. Ooh, well, yeah, that's big. It's because of the, the things on the bottom that makes it really big. Like the little pegs in the sand. Oh my god, that's so cute. Um, I'm going to twist it around there. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, I love it. I'm definitely going to be using these on this island. Um, definitely fits like the tropical, kind of like jungle island thing I'm going with. So, Nook's Cranny is officially open. So let's go talk to Timmy and Tommy. And I think, yeah, okay. So... And she's gone. I just <laughs> fast forwarded through all the dialogue, but hopefully she'll be um, on the island tomorrow or in the next few days so we can start getting some different clothing. Um, so let's check out and see what uh, they got. There's not a lot here on the main part of the, the, the floor that looks really interesting, but I do want to grab the DIYs that they have because I know there's a DIY, um, like the, yeah, the test your DIY skills. Um, yeah, so let's get that. It's going to be so much fun trying to collect all the DIYs again. Oh, there's so many. Um, and let's grab this toy box. Why not? So I hope that you guys are liking these like chill let's play videos. Um, I want to share my new island experience with you guys and I'm so excited. We're going to do villager hunts really soon and got a bunch of other stuff to do. So let's go check on our new island residents. Oh, they got their house upgraded. Wow, their houses are really, really nice. Their house exteriors are so like aesthetically pleasing. Oh my god. Okay, let's go talk and say hi to Pierce first. It appears like they're both inside. Ooh, his house is like completely blue. That's really cool. Let's say hi to him. Unfortunately, he's still in a um, sleeping bag, so we should probably get him a bed. Like he's a very he he's a very large bird. He needs he needs 
Like, even Plucky is still in the, the sleeping bag. Oh no. <laughs> we gotta get these two beds. Oh no. <laughs> well, she looks really happy about her new house, though. I actually really like her. Her house is very bright. I love the white brick, um, white brick wall. Okay, so first thing we gotta do, gotta go find our DIY bottle for the day. And does anyone have any name suggestions for the, the gnome? That's guarding driftwood on the rock there. If you guys have any um, suggestions for names, please let me know. Um, because I would love to name him because he's he's a very important part of the island. He's like he's watching out for us, um, making sure that no harm comes to to this island and the residents, you know? And I still have my um, museum um, this the tent. I still haven't caved in and upgraded just quite yet. Um, so yeah, let's find the DIY bottle. That's the first thing I want to take care of. It's the most important thing. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it's something we don't know. It should be because I only know like five DIYs, but this is from Diana. Oh, so she sent it all the way over from Moonlit. That's so sweet of her. Oh my god. Ironwood dresser. Very nice. Okay. So now let's go talk to Tom Nook. I think we can build the bridge today, like our first bridge, and maybe get the Islander homes started, the first three. Yeah, okay, so we have three interested parties. That's great. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I know we have to build the bridge first, which shouldn't take me too long. I think I have all the materials we'll need. And then we will build the villagers' houses. That's going to be a little bit annoying because I know building all the, the furniture you need for them can be a real pain. But we're going to try to get that all done, get that done today. We might have to visit a uh, mystery island to get some resources and maybe we'll find a villager there. So let's just quickly fast forward this little spiel from Tom Nook and we'll get started on building that bridge. Okay, and I just quickly um, just wanted to get the dedication ceremony for the next cranny out of the way. I love these little dedication ceremonies. They're always so cute and it's so fun. You can see to take pictures with your villagers um, all standing around together and um, we'll just ignore all the um, creatures that are on the left side of Nook's cranny. Those are all the um, bugs and fish and things I still haven't donated to Blathers. So I was trying to decide where to put it. I think it would make the most sense to put it just to the right of the Nook's Cranny because I'm going to probably put the three villagers houses on the right side of the island because that's where the most space is. So let's grab the three um, plot housing kits from Tom Nook and we'll, we'll set them up real quick. I want to put them on the beach, but they're really, really big. So I don't think we'll get the chance to do that. So I'll probably just line them up on like the very edge of the, the, like the shoreline between the beach and the, um, the land and just like try to keep them as close together as possible. So Let's go quickly do that, and then we'll... Oh god, there's a lot of things we have to build. I definitely don't have enough materials. We're definitely gonna have to visit a mystery island, but it's totally fine. Let's see who we can find on the mystery island. Maybe we'll be taking one of our villagers home today. And if not, we're gonna be doing a villager hunt for the next video.
All right, so we're on the mystery island. Let's grab a bunch of resources. Maybe get ourselves a villager. Probably not. Who's here? Oh, it's um, Kit. Is that her name? It's a kangaroo. It's a kangaroo. She's cute. I don't know why I put my belting pole away. We'll go say hi. Um, I'm not going to be taking her though. Yeah, it's Kit. Kit is really cute. She's actually one of my favorite um, kangaroos from the original Animal Crossing, but unfortunately she is not going to be joining us on Driftwood. Um, maybe in the future, you never know, but um, anyway, yeah. So let's grab all the materials we need and then we'll head back and start building all the furniture that we need. So I already started putting a bunch of the um, furniture together and because I don't want these plots to autofill before we get a chance to villager hunt, I'm just going to put all the items down in front of the the um, things like this and then when I get the villagers we want to move in, then I'll put the things in the right right order and put everything like in front of the, the houses. So I was just collecting some items and things and Pierce is finally giving me some reactions. So it took us four days, but we finally have some reactions. I think we get four as like the starting, um, as the starting reactions. Oh yay, okay, so we got the joy reaction, um, the delight, um, and then I think we got the greed and um, a, like alarm or, or shock. Surprise. Okay, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so glad we finally have that. Um, I hated not having the, the reactions. I love being able to like wave and like clap and just show my, show my excitement. Um, but yeah, okay, so we got all the furniture that we need. It's kind of like haphazardly thrown around, but you guys see there, we got all six of everything. So, all right, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit of a shorter one, but we got down everything that we needed to. So for the next video, we're going to be villager hunting for our new villagers for this island. And I'm really excited to go villager hunting with you guys again. So if you guys liked today's video, like and let me know what you guys think in the comments. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. So that's everything for today. Have a wonderful day, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!